Good evening. <coughs> it's Wednesday, the twenty second. This is the best I can offer for even evening prayer. Lord, now let us thou thy servant depart in peace, for mine eyes have seen thy salvation, which you have prepared in the sight of all people, a light for revelation to the Gentiles, and for glory to your people in Israel. This is Hebrews 11, by faith, Paul. Now faith is being sure of what we hope for and certain of what we do not see. This is what the ancients were commended for. By faith we understand that the universe was formed at God's command. So that what is seen was not made out of what was visible. By faith, Abel offered God a better sacrifice than Cain did. By faith, he was commended as a righteous man when God spoke well of his offerings. And by faith, he still speaks, even though he is dead. By faith, Enoch was taken from this life so that he did not experience death. He could not be found because God had taken him away. For before he was taken, he was commended as one who pleased God. And without faith, it is impossible to please God, because anyone who comes to him must believe that he exists, and that he rewards those who earnestly seek him. I don't know why I never found this chapter before. It's such a powerful thing. And I want to break it up. It's all about just by faith. Everything happens by faith, by faith, by faith. And in this chap I met now this afternoon, whom I know, I don't know, I'm getting known a bit here in Stone. <laughs> we had this long conversation a few weeks ago in Stafford. By the I stayed at the <laughs> Market Square. You know, he's saying, yeah, you were born by your parents, and etc., and that's it. It's so sad. It hurts me to hear that so much. Anyway, this is why I'm here. In my spirit, to show the world you, my Lord. Mm -hmm. We're all part of you. <laughs> That's the whole point. It gets to me a bit sometimes. You meet so many people, but then no, no, there was a good one. Okay. I love that old gentleman <laughs> who made me my little cross a few uh, months back. I was at the canal and he, he came past and I didn't exactly remember him immediately. Okay, and he just said, you know, and then, then he clicked, but, you see, I was just walking away from the canal by my bench where I normally put this cross on top of the bench. And he said, oh, remember that cross I gave you? And he said, I could take it out of my pocket just like that, and there it was. And we had a long chat. He, he works with, he's from Stone, but he works with this uh, sort of Christian home for the ones who've been excluded from school and stuff like that, youngsters, on the heritage of uh, Welsh borders. But I had it in my pocket. Aha! So that was the good thing that happened. Ah. 